When I first came to this department, uh, people were asking me what you want to do, and I, I said, I'm going to make a material as light as aluminum and uh, stronger than stainless steel. And I've been told, well, good luck with that. <laughs> but mechanical and aerospace engineer Afsana Rabi has created that material, one that can make stronger buildings, safer car bumpers, even better body parts. And get this, it's metal foam. How about if the entire material is made of air pockets, like the sponge? With help from the National Science Foundation, Rabi created a composite metal foam. This combination of components, such as hollow steel spheres, surrounded by aluminum, is stronger than other metal foams. Other foams have weaker, uneven cell structures. The strength of the material is increased because the spheres are bonded together through this uh, matrix all around them. So this is the advantage of composite foams. Rabi and her students showed us how it's made at North Carolina State University, preparing samples of solid metal and metal foam. So we're going to heat it up to 700 degrees, and once all the aluminum is melted, we're ready to cast. The metal foam is much lighter. It's also much stronger. The back plate is pretty much flat. The back plate was protected by the foam here. Imagine that metal foam in a car bumper. If you have a car accident at 28 miles per hour, it will feel like five miles per hour for the passenger sitting in a car. Rabi is working with the U.S. military to improve body armor and strengthen combat vehicles. In the operating room, this material may advance knee and hip replacements. The body will like it much better than a solid heavy material. She encourages her students to be persistent and pioneering. And she reaches out to grade school kids. I think if we start showing kids what engineering can do and excite them, from that age, we can get the better feedback later on. Okay, good. A good formula for designing the future. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.